This whole question made me think of like the concept people say soulless, they have no soul. Like somebody who's soulless would be like what you're saying is somebody who does not have that inner voice, I guess, or they just stamp it out. That would be like your soul trying to be like, hey, what's up? You know, <laughs> you should do this. <laughs> yeah. If somebody's like, they just ignore it, then they're just like a vessel or like a body. That's kind of like the first, the concept of two deaths that made me think of. It was like, there could be a situation where you're just the soulless, empty shell of a person. Sometimes that happens, like, that, that could be like your first death. Like, for example, you know, as a child, you have like this super nice, beautiful outlook on life. But then the time, maybe people beat it out of you. So then you become like this robot. So then you become soulless. So then, you know, you need this, like, you need to almost to, like, that old personality has to, like, die. And then you need to be, like, you need, like, a new, like, a new person has to come out of it, like, a new soul. I don't know, like, and it sounds kind of crazy, but you, I guess, yeah, you know what I'm, you know what, like, am I making sense here? Yeah, it's an ancient archetype. It's the phoenix, you know, it's the mm. dying and, and being reborn from your own ashes. And it's intense and it's painful, but it's the most worthwhile thing you can do, honestly, because you really do emerge from your own ashes as long as you keep following that love, like within you, like, which you never could be separate from it unless you choose to ignore it, really.